Hey there folks, it is Bobo the Vulture and we're doing a little short quick take let's play here. Um, copyright 1990 by Fisher Price. It's a game for the NES. Ah, that I paused. That's why. That's not working. Ah, Fisher Price presents thought I'd give myself a challenge for my, uh, for my next Let's Play. Fisher Price Perfect Fit. I'm actually doing this, um, as, uh, something of, I guess, if you want to call it that, a 50 subscriber special. <laughs> yeah, 50 whole subscribers. Actually, if you look at my subscriber list right now, it probably says 52, or at least as of when I'm recording this. Um, but I had two unsubscribes, so I don't really count those. Um, so I have 50 people who are subscribed now. I had a total of 52 people who have ever subscribed. Anyway, that's all getting very complicated. Press any button to continue. Speaking of very complicated, well, first of all, hey, we can interrupt the uh, music by moving back and forth. That's not annoying at all, is it, folks? No, of course not. Let's get the instructions. You, uh, match and fit each puzzle piece to its silhouette. And you listen to this, folks. You remember this from the Three Stooges? Three blind mice. Here and there, three blind mice everywhere, searching for the cat. Anyways, um... Yes, uh, simple fit match game where there are no flips. Anyhow, <laughs> I'll go ahead and slowly scroll through the instructions here while I do all of my 50 subscriber special uh, bowing and nodding and doing all that sort of thing. I guess uh, first and foremost I would have to give a uh, tip of my hat to Mysterious JG. Um, you know, one of the uh, one of the big influences personally as far as you know, getting some Let's Plays going. Uh, both sort of in how to do it, especially as far as like doing all the console stuff, and of course all the Let's Play Togethers we've been able to do, um, which have of course been great fun, and you know, uh, at least on my end, the 100 World Story uh, Let's Play has been very popular, it's been some of my more popular, uh, more popular Let's Plays. Um, of course there are also more Let's Play Togethers that we've done on his channel. We did one, we did one of the Warriors, we're doing one of Saigon Densetsu 3, um, aka Secret of Mana 2, on there. Um, of course, recently I've gotten a big jump in subscribers from how to use the buttons, folks. Do you know that there are buttons on your NES control pad? You can use them to make things move and to switch around and do all this kind of crazy things. Now, no, I've recently gotten a big boost in subscriptions from uh, and views, which is sort of you know the the important thing. Just people actually getting to see your stuff. Whether you know if they see it and they don't like it, well, you know, what the heck? Go on, find something else. There's plenty of things on YouTube. Um, but no, recently I've uh, I think I've gotten a lot more attention um, since I got. Uh, couple of shout-outs from, uh, Grimoth. Um, so, you know, <laughs> I, I tell you to go check out his channel, but, uh, if you're watching this right now, you probably already have. So, great. No, it's good stuff. Um, honestly, one of my favorite videos on YouTube, and not just because it specifically mentions me by name, but is his second attempt at Let's Play Arabiz, in which he tries to start in Tehran. Um, Spoiler alert, folks, I have started another Let's Play of Aerobiz for Scenario 3, and it goes almost as bad. It's 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 not a good starting, starting off point right now. I've actually stopped recording videos right now because I want to find out whether or not you folks want to see me at the point where I am intentionally going to... How to enter your name! We've got how to enter your name, folks, in case you didn't know how to enter names. Um, but yeah, uh, I've actually stopped right now because um, I'm at a point where I could try and scramble to save my airline or I could intentionally go into bankruptcy 
and just use bankruptcy refinancing magic. And I wanted to get a vote <laughs> on uh, what to do about it. But, um, you know, I mean, so, so, of course, thanks to them. Of course, thanks to all of my subscribers, all of you. It's great that anybody wants to come and, and check out my videos. Um, I especially appreciate when people, uh, you know, come by, leave comments, say hello, that sort of thing. Um, you know, and I have several of my subscribers that will do that uh, fairly regularly. Um, WC3 screen name S FSS, um, also occasionally known as Pancakes Man. Um, he will come by and, and, and drop a word, which is always good to hear. Um, and I had eight halos, uh, who was actually just earlier in this afternoon. Because he, he got me. I wasn't even thinking or looking at his screen name when he and he posted asking me who Trent Reznor was. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, folks. Honestly, that is, that's, that's one thing about me. Apparently, uh, especially online, but even in person, sometimes I have a hard time picking up on sarcasm. If you do it in a flat enough way, I don't recognize that you are actually just playing dumb. Not that I just presume people are dumb. But, you know, anyway. Um, Ivan 85. Um, he will leave comments. I know he's enjoyed the uh, Aerobis Supersonic Let's Play. Um, and, of course, Evil Zone, too. Uh, and those are good. I will go back and do E. Hidurka's, uh story mode in Evil Zone. I haven't forgotten that it happens. And that I need to. There's still more rules, folks. So, you know, <laughs> I guess I don't feel like I should really be hurrying up too much. You still have more rules that you can be reading about. <coughs> um, I will get into the final. I will finish Evil Zone. I just, I almost, I don't want to, I don't want to be done with that Let's Play because Evil Zone has just been so, sort of a weird and wonderful trip, you know? Um, there's no scoring in level one. Level 2 and 3, you can get some scoring going on. Oh, yeah. But, um... Yeah. All good things. All good things. Um, also, I should, uh... make special mention... Yes, one player game. I'll play against the computer. I'm not afraid of its challenge. I should make special mention of my very first subscriber, um, you know, without whom, you know, this 50 subscriber special, of course, would not be possible yet, I'd have to wait for another subscriber, but, uh, somebody who's clearly been very important to my LP career, Sub for Sub Germany. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sub for Sub Germany, for being such a loyal subscriber. I know that you watch all of my videos, even though you've never commented sub for sub Germany, but, uh, I really appreciate knowing that you're there. You know what, folks? I'm gonna throw caution to the winds here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the level three, the level three challenge here. Let's give it a shot. Bobo, do your best! Good luck! Alright. Um, okay, this does not need to be flipped. Let's put it up here. Uh, these goofy sunglasses, they also don't need to be flipped. That is a perfect fit right there. This object doesn't need to be flipped either. Generally, folks, you will get some objects that need to be flipped. Ah, oh, like this one. Ah, uh, now they're trying to get us, like, doubly hard on this one, because it had to be flipped two ways. That's right. Flip it, flip it sideways, sit and spin. Oh. That wasn't the right way. This is the right way. Ah. I did it! A perfect fit! I feel accomplished. Let's press the B button to continue. Electro? I didn't know I was fighting Electro. Go for it, Electro. No, no, that's not gonna work, Electro. Boo! You suck, Electro! No, no, you'll get it this time. I know you will. Yeah! There you go, Electro. 
You know, I don't want this to be... Uh, no, no, you had it! Oh, no, Electro! Oh, there, that's the way. There you go. I barely can tell what that thing is even supposed to be, so I understand your confusion with that one, Electro. I mean, clearly some of these are like Fisher-Price toys, and some of them are letters, numbers, that sort of thing. No, no, Electro, that's not the way. That's not going to do it either. Man. You did do it, Electro, though. I doff my cap to you. You you made a perfect fit. Oh, this question mark. It needs to be flipped. So, folks. Any, uh... Any idea what those bottom two things might be? The weird-looking sort of... I don't know if that's a chompy mouth. And the... Who knows what that other thing is? Ah, it's a record player! I got one turntable and no microphone. Ah, and this is supposed to be a delicious hot dog. With ketchup. Or ketchup. Or catsup. Or who knows. Another perfect fit! And I still have 153 left on my counter. I could be doing this as a speedrun. I could be a professional preschool game speedrunner. Because that is a profession. Clearly. Do your best, Electro. Because it's not going to be good enough. <laughs> oh, Electro. You're no match for my intellectual might. You can try all you want. You'll never know. Don't you even know how a karaoke machine works? That's, that's not going to do the job either, Electro. Sorry. Oh, teddy bear wants a... Whoa, no, no, no. Don't position the teddy bears together like that. You won't learn about any of that until you're older. Electro. Actually, Electro is probably in his 20s by this point. Yeah, if this game was made in, what, like the late 80s? Yeah, Electro's going to be in, like, his, uh... His mid-twenties, something like that? Early twenties? I don't know, folks. I just know Electro would be younger than me, but still probably old enough to drink. Sad. Alright. Puzzle number three. This is it, folks. Crunch time. And that guy's head is on the wrong side, so we have to flip the image like so. The cord on the wrong side. These last ones are tricky. They're only fine details that are telling you what, uh... Or the word two. Not the numeral two. It is spelled out, folks. It's tricky stuff. Oh, can I get under 120? I did it! A perfect fit! I am a champion! All right, Electro. You've already you've already blown your chance at beating me. Let's see whether or not you can at least finish the game. I mean, I clearly win. I am the best. I'm the best. Around. Nothing's gonna ever keep me down. I'm the best. Around. Yes, I am the best around, folks, at uh, matching these shapes to these, uh, yeah, to the gray silhouettes of them. That was nicely played, though, I gotta say, Electro. That less so. I feel bad now, because Electro's kind of rattled. I mean, I pulled off such a great performance, like, from the first round onward, that, you know, he was sort of off his game the whole time. I feel bad, Electro. Electro's still a champion, though. See, the game... And I understand this for the two-player, because you don't want somebody to feel like they're less... They're, they're, they're lesser, even though they didn't win. But no, the game is also trying to uh, preserve Electro's feelings. Like, make sure Electro doesn't feel bad about itself. 
So yeah, there you go, folks. Um, let's press the B button to continue. Would you like to play again? Uh, n n no. No, I, I don't think I need to play again. But uh, I want to thank you, folks, A, for being subscribers and tuning into this, which is both a Let's Play and a 50 subscriber special, and uh, want to thank you individually for watching. So thanks very much again. This is Bobo the Vulture, and this has been Let's Play Fisher Price Perfect Fit for the NES. Come back next time. We got plenty more stuff in the works. Um, in fact, I have two more entire games in the Let's Watch Red Play series that I haven't even gotten started on posting yet, so got that to look forward to, um, if you look forward to those. Um, hopefully you do. Um, like I said, still got more Aerobiz, of course. There's two whole more scenarios, and uh, and much more to come. Of course, Steambot Chronicles, which is great. By the way, I should say thanks again to Mysterious JG for getting me a new copy of the game, because I lost the original one that I played it on, and, uh, yeah, basically making me able to do a Let's Play of it, which is something I'd really been wanting to do. Um, what else is going on? Certainly there's something, and I can't think of it. Um, but yeah, there are other Let's Plays that will come around. Oh, Castle of the Winds. I have not forgotten about Castle of the Winds. Um, that, uh, actually, that one's also like Evil Zone. I'm getting sort of close to the end of it, and I'm like, ah, I don't know if I'm ready to finish that one yet. Because when you get, when you play them for long enough, you get attached, folks. You, you really do. Like this game, not so much attached to. It was good to do the LP of, though. Um, and considering it was supposed to be a quick shot, I'd better wrap it up, folks. Thanks very much for watching. Keep watching, folks. And I'll see you again. Bye now.